Hey there, it's Ms. K with the Reading Corner Online. We're gonna do this really cool sentence activity, but before we do, I'd like to do Tootsie Roll. Do you know how to do the Tootsie Roll chant? Let me show you. It goes like this, you roll your arms, Tootsie Roll, then pretend to lick a lollipop. It's your thumb, but don't lick your thumb. Lollipop, now pretend you're talking. We've been talking, now we're gonna do stop. Now let's stop. Isn't that fun? Let's do it again, you ready? Tootsie Roll, Lollipop. We've been talking, now let's stop. Good job. The kids and my cats love that. Okay, so now we're gonna move on. Do you see the bus? Yeah, you know what? School started back here and we see more school buses on the street. Have you been seeing school buses? They're pretty fun. Maybe someday you'll ride in a school bus. All right, so what this says, all right, well first, do you see how it has room for your name? And it says name on your paper. First thing, so write your best handwriting and write your name up here, all right? And then we'll go on and build this sentence. All right, you may go, whoa, that's a really big sentence. It's true, but you can do this. All right, so we're gonna point to each word because a good reader slows down and touches each word. Let me show you. I can go on a big bus. Can you do that with me? All right, remember the words and we'll do, well, I'll go nice and slow. I, say them with me, can, good job, go on a big bus. Yes. Are you a reader? Now you're a reader? Oh my goodness, I'm so proud of you. All right, so on the bottom of this worksheet, there was words to cut up, okay? So you're gonna cut up these words, and now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna match them, because that helps you learn each word. All right, so the first word is I. It's just one letter, I. So I know, because I saw it first, I'm gonna put it here, right there. Do you see how this matches? I, I. All right, that next word is can. C-A-N, can. What's not this, right? This says G-O. Is that C-A-N? No, it is not. Here we go. C-A-N, can. So I'm gonna put that word right below can. There. I can, next one, G-O, go. I like that word. Um, it's on top, so I'm gonna show you. Look, G-O, go. All right, so I'm gonna match it up. Look, we are building a sentence. Yes, nice job. I can go on, O-N, on. It's right on top, I'm gonna show you. O-N, on. Okay, so we can put it right here. I can go on, one letter. It's the letter A, so cute, right? Is this the letter A? It's not the letter A. Is this the letter A? No, Miss K, it's, this is the letter K. All right, so I'm putting it right here. All right, this is where it gets exciting in the sentence. You ready? I can go on a B-I-G, big. I found it, B-I-G, big. And to do the hand movements for big is like this. B-I-G, big. Put it right here. We have practically done a whole sentence. I can go on a big bus. You're <laughs> so smart. Kiss your brain, that means you kiss your hand, pretend. And then you're gonna put it right here because that's where your brain's at. Kiss your brain. Nice job. And I'm gonna put my bus up. We did it. Yes. 
Okay, now these are kind of like teacher questions too. But okay, we'll look at this. That's a bus. This says bat bus. Is it a bat or is it a bus? It's a bus. So you would circle this one. And this is a cub or a cat. Kind of tricky. It's a bear cub. So you hear that b sound at the end? So you would circle cub. All right, and you can have mom and dad read you these questions and you can finish it. You are awesome. In fact, I think I'd like to do the awesome cheer. Okay, you ready? It goes A-W-E, S-O-M-E, awesome, awesome, totally. One more time, A-W-E, S-O-M-E, awesome, awesome, totally. You are awesome because this is big kid stuff and you did a whole sentence about a bus. I'm proud of you. Nice job, keep working hard. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Allison at Reading Corner Online. Oh my goodness, yay, it's another activity to do it together. Now, we're gonna work on compound words. What's a compound word you might say to Miss Allison? Well, I'll tell you. It's one word that you can break apart and make, becomes two words. It's amazing. All right, now, if I say bath, tub, what am I trying to say? Do you see it here? Do you see it? Oh, I see it, it's right here. It's right here, boom, yay! Like that, mm-hmm. All right, ready? I'm gonna see another one. It's one of my favorite words, ready? Rain, bow. Do you see it? See the rainbow? Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Boom. All right, last one. Gum ball. Do you see it? There's, a, there's several of them. Gum balls. Mm, they look yummy. Just like that. Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. All right. Oh, I see several you can do at home. You guys are awesome. I know you can do it. Have fun. Let's learn a new cheer. This is called the Horn Toot Cheer by Dr. Jean. I'm gonna say, let's toot our own horn. And I want you to take your pretend whistle and go toot toot. Are you ready? Let's toot our own horn. Toot toot. Let's do it again. Let's toot our own horn. Toot toot. One more time. Let's toot our own horn. Toot toot. Good job, we did it. Hi there, it's Miss Kay with the Reading Corner Online. Look what I have for you today. It's a sorting activity. That's one of my most favorite things to do. We have different colors and we're gonna sort the pictures that were underneath here that are cut out. So let's talk about the colors first. We have three colors. This one is did you guess? Because you could tell by the color it was. Orange. This one's going to be for orange. This one is a pretty awesome color. It's purple. Purple. And this last one, can you tell? Because it's that color. Yellow. Yellow. Okay, so what we did is Miss Kay took out some of the pictures and we're gonna do part of them. And I'll let you finish this activity at home. Here we go. The first one is tick-tock. What is this? A clock. Clock. And look what color it is. I've never seen one like this. It's really cool. It's orange. So I'd put it right here, right? I would put it with the orange right there. Nice job. All right. Oh. Look at these. Do you know what they are? Towels. Freshly washed, folded purple towels. Wow, I bet they are gonna be wonderful after the shower. All right, so let's see, what color are they? They're very purple, aren't they? So I would put it, did you say here? You did, that's exactly where I would put it. Nice job. All right, I see you're pretty smart. Miss Kay needs to get tricky. How about this? 
first I thought they were pumpkins, but they are not pumpkins. They're actually peppers. What color are the peppers? Orange peppers. Do you like to eat orange peppers? I do. I like orange peppers. And I would put it where? No. No. Yes, I would put it right there. Those orange peppers are with the orange clock. All right, I got a couple more. I just did an activity that had this on it. Do you know what it is? You see it on the road and it has lots of kids inside. That's right, it's a bus. What color is this bus? It's so yellow, right? That's right. So I would put it, yeah, right here. All right, so looks like orange is winning so far because orange has one, two. How many does purple have? One. How many does yellow have? One. Let's see what's next. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at these. Are they flowers? They are. Oh, they're upside down. Flowers. And what color are these beautiful flowers? They are so purple, aren't they? All right, so let's see. Oh, they would go with the purple towels, right? Yeah. Okay. The last one, best one. I saved it for back for, for last because it's really cool. You know what this is? It's a bird. What color is the bird? Yellow. And you know what? It's called a goldfinch, which is the Iowa State bird. <laughs> this case from Iowa. I picked this one out because I thought it was so beautiful, right? And Gold means yellow, and it's a yellow bird, so I would put it with the orange? No, I would put it with the purple? No, I'll do it with the yellow. Good job, we did it. Now you have more to sort, so I'll let you keep doing that, and you can do it at home with your brother or your sister or your mom or your dad, but I wanna do one quick cheer before we go. It's called Hip Hip Hooray, so it goes, Hip, hip, hooray! One more time. Hip, hip, hooray! One more time. Hip, hip, hooray! You guys are rock stars. Nice job, I'm proud of you. See you later. Hi, uh, hello, it's Miss Allison from Reading Corner Online. We're gonna graph today. You wanna help me? Yes, yes. All right, I see. Octopus, I see crabs, and I see whales. Now, they're all here. We're gonna count them, and then we're gonna graph them here. Now, each right here is the whale column, right here is the crab column, and this is the octopus column. Ah, <gasps> so amazing. All right, before we start, did you notice this line at the top? We call it name on your paper. First thing, write your name, you, it's your work. All right, now, I like to, let's call the whales first. Now, Ms. Hollison likes to like make sure I don't, uh, I don't lose my space, my, sp my spot when I'm counting. So, I'm gonna mark them, okay? Let's do the whales first. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. How many whales did you get? Five. Yes. So we're gonna get go right to the whale column and then we're gonna count, color that mini box all the way up. So what was that number again? Yeah, it was five. Should we color on the number five first? Mm-mm. We start at the bottom and we color all the way up. So let's start, ready? I like to count and color at the same time. It help me it helps me remember. One two, three, four, five. Stop. All right, next animal, let's do, let's do the crabs. The crab goes snip, 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 snip. All right, I'm, we're gonna circle those. Ready? One, two, three. Just three. All right, where's the crab column? It's right in the middle. Ready? One. Two, three, 
Should I keep going? No. No, because there's only three. You stop right at the number three. I know you. sometimes it feels like you want to keep going, but that's how we sort in color. All right, last ones. Oh, it's the octopus. Okay, ready? This time we're gonna do X marks the spot. Ready? One, two. Oh, just two. All right, find it right here. All the way and stop. All right, now, it says right here the most. Which one is the most? We'll go back to the graph. And it's right here, it's the whale. Circle it. And it says, which one's the least? It was the lower number. And that is the octopus. All right, and which one is your favorite? Which one do you like the most? Well, since the crab didn't get circled, I like the crab. So here we go. All right, that was amazing. I love you all. Thanks for coming to play with me and see you later.